I just had a nice breakfast at Woody Gap. There's bathrooms there, so that was nice. Just checked the radar, and it looks like the bad storms are going to be here around 2 p.m. So that's my target to be at Neil's Gap by 2 p.m. We're very close to it. Coming up on, I think it's called Preacher's Rock. There's good views here on a clear day. Not so much now. What the H? I just got water from this creek and filtered it. And I got it here because it's not raining too hard yet. And so I figured it'd be easier to get and stop uh, before the rain starts. This should be enough water to get me through the rest of the day. I have about seven and three quarter miles left to get to Neil's Gap. In. There it is, Blood Mountain. I'm coming for you. Oh, we got a little bit of frozen stuff coming down. All right, I'm here on top of Blood Mountain. It's been rough. Um, I've been hiking through a couple of hours of sleet and high wind and rain. And <clears throat> so this is the highest point on the Appalachian Trail in the Georgia section. And I'm told that this is the oldest shelter on the, tr on the trail. So I'm just gonna stay here long enough to choke down some food and I'm gonna get off this mountain. By the way, this gives me the heebie-jeebies. You go in there and it's like 10 degrees colder. Nope. Not going in some Blair Witch Project shack. As you can see, I'm comfortable and warm in the uh, the hostel at Mountain Crossings at, at Neil Gap. Um, I wouldn't have attempted, I wouldn't have attempted that um, trip given the weather if I didn't know there, there was a, a warm, dry place at the end. Um, when I, when I came up the steps to Mountain Crossings and walked in the door, uh, the guy at the desk or at the register, uh, his, the first thing out of his mouth was, uh, bless your heart. And that's Southern for, in this context, <laughs> you damn fool. Um, so fair to say, um, I was drenched to the bone in um, places inside my pack that I never thought water could reach were there. Um, right after the last video up, up near the 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 shelter um, after I took that the skies really opened up and the wind and the wind came in um, I guess a line of thunderstorms and I was pretty much walking in a creek the whole way down the hill a couple of things I could have done better today um, I could have put my rain pants on I should have put them put them on sooner than I did uh, the wind really, even though it was in the 40s, which isn't that cold, but when you add a 30, 40 mile an hour wind to it, um, that that really cools you down fast. And even though the rain gear wasn't keeping me dry, it was it was keeping the wind off. Also, I'd point out that um, the the lows tonight are down into the 20s, and that's down in the lower towns. So had I waited to go over Blood Mountain tomorrow, uh, it might have been extremely tricky. 
Um, I'm fairly happy with the, the decision making um, for today uh, when I decided to go push to, to get to Neil's Gap, uh, even giving, given the, the, the storms that were approaching. Uh, the, the, the first positive thing um, I did was got an early start. I was, I was on the trail by 5.15. I had 15 miles to go. And um, there were a couple of options um, that I could have taken along the way. There was another shelter before Blood Mountain. Uh, it was a little bit off trail. I could have made it there. Or I could have taken shelter at the shelter on top of of uh, Blood Mountain, although the Blair Witch might have gotten me if I had I done that. Um, but ultimately, um, I was there um, um, plenty early in even though it was raining hard, um, I wasn't in a hurry. I wasn't fighting sunset. Uh, I ended up getting um, to Neil Gap by about 1 p.m., so earlier than, than I expected. So I took my time on the way down, <clears throat> and um, and I'm glad to be in a, in a warm, dry place. I'm the only one here at the hostel, and, uh, and so that, that pretty much sums it up.